I'm now going to show two advanced features, new features for V8R4 Service Pack 2. So the first one is creating tabulated attributes for sections, and also we're going to afterwards show adding attributes with a pull down box of values. So at the moment, if we right click, check the information on a project, we can see now we have separate tabs. Now we can control how these are used, how they're created in the advanced level by right clicking on the project level and going to properties, clicking on the workspace text, and you'll notice there's a new column in there called node. So any entry in there highlighted as being a node becomes a separator and anything after that value in the sorting order gets added to that particular group. So if we want to add our own, we can go down to the new line right at the bottom. And it's important to note that these start, the new attributes uh, start at 102000. So in here I can put my tab header. I'll set the same value here as being 80 characters and make it into a string. Notice when we're doing this, there's a new value in here for list, and we'll use that in a short while. In here, we can set the order for this. So instead of being at 500, I'm going to move this to being at 400. I'll say show it and make it into a node. Click OK. If I close down, I'm just going to go back into the project. We have to save it, reopen it. And when we look at the information, there's my new tab header. It's empty. So let me add something to that. Right click back into properties, workspace text, and again, right down to the bottom and the next ID number, 102001. This is gonna be perhaps a drawing number. I'll put a value in there. I'll say this could be 255 characters. It's gonna be a string. And if I put it as being between 400 and 500, so I'll say this is, the order is 401. And I'll say show it. Click OK. And again, close the workspace and make sure to save it. When we go back into there, right click and look at the information. And now we can see that's my tab header that I added. And that's where I can now add my drawing number information. The next thing is fixed lists of information that we can select from. So it makes it much quicker rather than typing it each time. So now we can go back into the properties again at project level, into workspace text. I'm gonna go down to a new one here, 102002. I'm gonna put this as being the project status maybe. Put it as a value of being 80. And instead of string, I'm actually gonna say this is made up of a list. I'll put it as being in my tab header. So I'm going to put it as being 402 in the order. I'm going to say show, but importantly, I'm going to go back to the heading and between square brackets. So open, close brackets, I'm going to put some values. So I'm going to say this is development and then shift and backslash. This is a pipe symbol. It's just a little line going upwards. Then I'm going to type Revision, again, shift and pipe as a separator, and then production. So I've got the main heading, the text, and then inside square brackets, I've then got three values. And you could have more than that, but this is just an example. I'm going to click OK. Close workspace and say yes. Back into the project. Let's just open a page just so we can see something. Right click and information. Under my header, I've now got status, revision, development, or production. The same thing can be seen in the properties panel. Again, a pull down box where you can set the value in there.